everyone and welcome to my new Sims 4 Let's Play. It is called the Parker Home for Wayward Sims. Now here you have Mr. and Mrs. Well, Parker. This well, is um, Hastings. Oh, and our lovely Cecilia is looking for a job. Let me do that really quickly. She wants to be <clears throat> a writer. In fact, she kind of wants to go off into like the foodie sphere where she would write travel books and, and things about food in general because she's really into food but uh yeah unfortunately she's landed herself here in the parker home for wayward sims which is really just a fancy name for the house belonging to this elderly couple uh mr and mrs parker they have basically they have this long-standing legacy they've accrued so much um money that they were able to buy a house in a new town, move here, and agree to foster Sims who may be just, uh, need a little guidance. Like, Cecilia here is in need of anger management. This is sort of, it's not really a halfway house. She has all of her, all of her rights to do anything she wants. She's not on parole or anything. But she had an incident in a French restaurant, um, where she punched someone and uh yeah she's had a few things she punched someone in a french restaurant and she also punched someone at a museum all kinds of things she's had some anger problems so they've put her here not realizing that she actually hates children and she is here with a child so i mean she's not the type of person who would hurt a kid but let's just hope let's just hope i thought i told her to join that career did i say back i might have said back oh wait no that's him what shall she do? She needs to do stuff. She needs to read books. She's like, I'm going to watch TV. She wants to watch, oh, shows for ideas. Yeah, you can do that. So here we have the Parkers. This is Eleanor. This is Hastings. And they are, you know, they're your typical wealthy older couple, but their uh, kids don't talk to them for some reason, and... It's one of those things that they didn't, <laughs> the agency that set them up with this sort of fostering deal didn't really inquire into it because there were no complaints or, any, or anything like that. So basically this is just a nice place for people to stay who are in the process of going through some sort of anger management or um, some other sort of guidance. And our little guy here, Brock Sampson, he also has some anger issues, which is why he's here. He's a rambunctious little dude. Oh, and my cat is making sounds. Thank you, Emmy. Thank you, Emmy. Let's have a look at little Brock, because he's a cutie. There's Brock. Eh, eh. Look at that mischievous, little mischievous stare. All right, yes, yeah, so there was little Brock. I had to set my timer. Sorry. And Cecilia, you've got to read. Wow, this is an excellent uh, start right here. Well, she just needs to read any books. We could start her off reading children's books. Um, We'll have her read Orbital Pudding. Cecilia is a foodie. Foodie sims are obsessed with eating, discussing, and cooking high-quality treats. Eleanor is raising her charisma skill. So Eleanor... Her traits are, she is, well, her aspiration is family. Aw. Talk to him about art. And she has domestic from choosing the family aspiration. She's hot-headed, she's an art lover, and she's self-assured. Um, our poor Hastings is lazy, he's gloomy, he's a bookworm, and he's a quick learner. But they, uh... Yeah, they actually have five kids between the two of them. The, well, I think, I think what I decided, yeah. Of course, I'm like, I'm so nervous because this is an entirely new animal right here. It's just a completely new game, but yes. They have five children that they had together. Oh, and he's a goofball. He's a goofball. All right, Hastings is working on that charisma skill as well. This is all very strange. Uh, I'm going to assume that many of you have seen a lot of this content. A lot of it. Um, so what does he need to do? He needs to build skills. So skill building would be an excellent, excellent thing. He has a room upstairs that they put together for him. It's a nice room with 
toys and all that. I believe he has a toy chest. So why don't you come on up and play... Well, do your homework. And then play with Choppy. Oh, and he's got... Yeah, he's got like a multi-tab. Excellent. Eleanor has acquired the mischief skill. Oh, and there's Dina Caliente. Oh, we're going to hire a maid. They've just purchased this, this house outright. They're, you know, they're getting a fresh start. A fresh start. So, they're just getting it out. So it said $40 per day plus $20 per hour. Which is cool because that means there isn't a set amount of time that they'll, uh, they'll be there. Now, I'm finding that, like, you can do a lot of interesting min-maxing type stuff with, um... She wants to plant something. Can we go harvest things? I know we can harvest stuff at, like, the park. Um... Yeah, in terms of, of really optimizing your skill gains and things like that. Which is kind of interesting, using the, the colors and the mood enhancing type stuff. So, that's kind of cool. Alright, she's energized. She wants to do sit-ups. Why don't you do sit-ups then? You can do them upstairs. Oh, she's like, I'm using this if you're not going to. Um, no, go in here and exercise. Exercise. Do sit-ups. Now, some of you are probably, if you're new to my channel, welcome, actually. Thank you for just stopping by. But if you're wondering, I will be doing, obviously, challenges and things like that later. Um, which will involve starting out a lot poorer. But, uh, they're not going to have a lot of money coming in right away. So, it's kind of going to, it's kind of going to suck. Now let's actually send Cecilia off to the park to get some stuff that we can, uh, oh, I keep wanting to hit the wrong button, so we're going to actually send her to the park. Yes, yes, yes. So later on, I mean, given that they're in a completely new town, there's no promise that we won't eventually come across the Parker's biological children and maybe discover a little bit of what's up. Just a little. Oh, we could just go to the secret location. Just really, just really go nuts with it. Just really go nuts with it. You know what? Yeah, let's just do that. She is in really good shape. Let's just go. We'll go to the secret place. Like, right out of the gate, if you haven't seen this yet. Each of the neighborhoods has a secret location. Now, as this place is meant to resemble, um, like, southern Louisiana, uh, New Orleans, if you're familiar with True Blood, you might be able to guess what the the secret area is. But let's, let's just go. Let's just go see it. Let's go see it. Because I want her to get some stuff to plant anyway. Wee. So you gotta go to this tree. And you gotta view it a bunch. <laughs> now, while they're at home, what we can do is... Oh, I have to have an open queue slot for that? Seriously? But as you can see, there's an outline here of an opening. So while I have a chance, I'm going to... Um, you are going to socialize with Eleanor, because that'll make her feel happy. And you are going to care for self. He's pretty lazy, so he would probably do that anyway. Um, you can water it if you want. But I think it's just how I think you just have to view it. It should actually open relatively quickly. Come on. She should be reading books right now for her job. But no, she's here at my beck and call. Discuss nature. View. Yep, she's just here. 
bowing to my whims as a crazy person. Oh, there it is. There's the opening. Tree like shivered first. It was like, oh, you talk to me so well. Oh, you talk to me so well. We are going to explore. Yeah, get inside me. <laughs> it's terrible. Don't say things like that. Oh, we don't know Clint yet. Hello, Clint. But we're busy. Oh, her. She has to pee now. Mm, balls. Balls. Too bad she can't just pee in the woods. That'd be that'd be handy. So we're going to follow the sound. Oh, I'll read them. I'm sorry, I didn't read that. I didn't. I'm terrible. He's saying like you could hear, you could see lights, and you could hear a babbling brook. And I'm like, I want to follow the brook. We're going to Cecilia delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. A soft splash tells her that she has just stepped stepped into a shallow stream. Follow downstream. This guy's coming over to look like, hey, clean up. What the hell is this? Somebody just left a gaping hole in the bottom of this tree. It's gonna fill up with like worms and owl bears and all kinds of crap. Taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate in at sewer main, <laughs> Cecilia is distracted by an ethereal mist glowing ominously. We're going into the mist. It's gonna feel cool on our skin. Cause you know it's it's not dry here at all. This is <laughs> this is meant to represent like I said, southern Louisiana. Guys, this is. Okay, the mists the mist is warm and friendly as far as mists go. Without warning, Cecilia feels the sensation of being spun around and exit to the cave now staring her in the face. Um, yeah, we want to go to the Sylvan Glade. No, those dudes don't you you're not welcome here. This is our place. This is the place that we discovered that those dudes aren't allowed to come to, and she's like, I have to pee so badly. This is great. This is really pretty. I'm glad we're here. So yes, this is the Sylvan Glade. Um, while we're here we can find a frog. I think I think there's a log very nearby and there's now that we're here when we come back there will be things to pick so that we can grow them um, as it stands nothing will have um, have any blossoms on it yet that won't be until tomorrow I don't want her to pee herself which is the only reason why I'm pausing otherwise I would not have paused while I look for for um, one of the frog frog logs because there are frog logs, and you can catch them and sell the frogs, and they're cute. And they're cute. Oh, well, okay. I don't see any yet. Look for frogs in that pond. Um, and if you go over here, you can hear laughter. Actually, it's over here. Yep, there it is. Oh, she found a sunflower frog. You follow these little white lights. And there are scary eyes that appear over here later. Like, very slowly over time, scary eyes start to appear along the side. It's pretty cray. Pretty cray. So she's going to actually, now that you've now you've seen this, she's going to head home. And we'll come back later and we'll get some, uh, we'll see if it bears fruit. Get it? No, we'll come back later and we will find um, some stuff that we can grow. It'll have to be tomorrow. Tomorrow! Um, yes. I want to go home. Because she's going to pee herself. She's going to pee right down her leg. And her pants are adorable, so I'm sure she really doesn't want to do that. Indeed, she doesn't. She's like, while I'm here, I need to pee. How you doing, Eleanor? Eleanor wants to do sit-ups. Yeah. Oh no, she wants to do push-ups. I lied. Exercise. Do push-ups. Eleanor, I lied. I'm sorry. Push-ups. There we go. There we go. Yeah! She also wants to buy a toy. Admire art. Now here's one of the first things that I'm not a huge, huge fan of. You can, while you're away, you can tell your sims at home to do things. You can tell them to build skills and things like that, which I didn't realize at first you could do. However, um, when you come back, it resets them in a number of ways. Like, there are a number of resets that, like, you can kind of exploit, um, um, <laughs> this is some Sims 3 stuff. You can exploit mood, um, mood stuff and, like, needs and things like that. So it kind of, kind of sucks. Oh, she's very uncomfortable. 
from being dangerously tired. Oh, strenuous activity. Elders don't have the stamina they used to. So why don't you browse the web? Actually, does she have a nice bathtub? Why don't you go up and just take a nice bath? I mean, I will never forget that the freaking thing is over there now. Come on up here and take a bubble bath. It's going to feel really great. I'm just going to sit here and hang out. Now, they are kind of living on, on a fixed income at this point. They They bought this house. The rest of the money that they had was spent um, on their kids' trusts and things like that, and they made some very, very poor investments. So this is this is what they have. They're relying on living out the rest of their lives on what little they have in savings and money that they get uh, for assisting these individuals and putting, you know, making sure they're staying in a good quality environment. What's happening? Oh, ugh, children. She's angry when she's around children. Brock. Uh-oh. Why don't you talk to him? Why don't you say hey to him? Give him a heartfelt compliment. Like, hey, kid. I know you're here because you've got some anger issues, too. And I know we've we've all had we've all had our bad days. Discuss our favorite recipes. Oh, she acquired the charisma skill. Um, and yeah, they kind of passively gain skills as they go. Oh, 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 the frog, the frog, the frog. Frog is an uncommon frog. The frog is going right there. Frog. Frog. Now, yeah, this isn't a traditional challenge. I think I started saying this. This isn't a, a traditional challenge, but my goal will be to make sure that um, particularly Brock and Cecilia end up having good, happy lives. Um, are you hungry? Yeah, you're hungry, so grab a serving. How's everybody else? Go ahead, grab a serving. Go ahead. Oh, he came to get one. Good boy. He's on the ball. Oh, for someone who doesn't like kids, she's cool going and sitting next to him. But I think maybe, maybe it's also a thing where she she gets it. She gets it. You know. She's a kid after her own heart. Maybe maybe not all kids are so bad. Maybe not. Now, Eleanor, spend some time getting to know. Um, don't flash crazy eyes just yet. <laughs> um, funny. Tell a funny story. Friendly. Get to know. You know what? You should put these away. I don't think he's gonna like being told to do that, but I'm gonna. I'm telling him. Boy, that playful mood though drives me nuts because they're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna be a jerk to someone. Usually, actually, she wants to do an impression, so we can promise that. I don't know how it's gonna fly, but we can promise it. Oh, I love his quick little kids are so much faster in this. I do like that. There's a lot to be hopeful for with this game. Like I know that my first impressions was pretty harsh, and I still I still have doubts. I still have concerns. Um, just because it is so similar to The Sims 2, and it's got great streamlining type improvements and things like that. But if it's all just rehashed content, and I'd like to see the thing sorted with like sort of the the mood moodlet exploits you can make, it's a little strange. Um, so I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping we can branch out from there. We don't have anything we can pick here. Yet we're gonna have to go back to the glade tomorrow. Oh, they're having a nice time. Oh, hates children lessons. She, these sims fear parenthood, loathe the presence of children, and become happy from being mean to younger folk. Um. Okay, his motor skill is improving now. Brock for his for his uh school stuff. Here's the thing: you have kind of like questish things. This also lends itself to my <laughs> my um sense that this might have been meant to originally be like an online mmo -y kind of thing. His homework's not done yet. I gotta find his homework. Um, but yeah, you have type like quest type things, which you've had in, in certain variations previously. But he needs to go to school energized and he needs to get two skills to level four. What are you coming over to do? But you know, we should track down your homework. We should. We should definitely, definitely track down 
your homework. Where is it? Wow, where is your homework, kid? Um... No, I do not see it. Okay, so... His homework's not done yet. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen from there, but we'll see. We'll see. He's gonna nap in the chair. Cause napping's nice. It'll make him happy. She's like, oh my god, there's children's television. And there's... <laughs> there's a kid here. This is pretty much my worst nightmare. Why did I punch that Mater D? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I really need to reevaluate everything about uh, about the way I've lived my life so far. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Does she have a bookshelf up here? There's a bookshelf here. She needs to... We're gonna purchase some books, because we've got the money. So she's gonna have to work on... Um, we're gonna get the cooking book. Just oh, I keep wanting to double click. We're gonna get the cooking book. Um, we're gonna get the gardening book, the gourmet cookbook, handiness. We should get the. I think we have a lot of the children's books. We want writing. That's what I want. I want writing. Boom. Boom. Now Brock doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. He, I mean, he doesn't really like authority and he kind of feels as though maybe it would be interesting to work in some sort of field operations or agency or something like that. Something where he didn't really have to answer to anybody but the highest of the high up. Oh, Sydney is making noise. So she is... Is she in? Oh, in her inventory. She's actually in physical possession of what I want her to read. I want her to read the writing book. So, read writing, please. Conjugation conundrum. Uji. You read social level two. But we gotta keep working on those motor skills, kiddo. Got this great playpen out here. There's a creepy dude standing over here. Why are you creeping, creepy dude? Yeah, that's right. Archer Moses. I had to pause to see their names. Chance Schrader. I like you, Chance. You look happy. Oof, <laughs> Archer. <laughs> oh, there is stuff to pick over here. This light leads into a park area, it looks like. Did somebody leave food out? Yes, yeah, somebody. Chance! Chance left food out. You plan? Gotta increase those motor skills, buddy. It's gonna be great. You're gonna do so well in school, and then you can get out of here and fulfill your dreams. You're just having, like, a conversation while you two are sitting way far away from each other. Oh, I can't imagine that this isn't even mildly awkward for, uh... <laughs> for Cecilia. To brighten his day. <laughs> oh, she's going to bed. She's like, I'm tired. I'm sorry. You know what? He needs to go to bed, too. They go to bed. Actually, you know what? It's it's like 10 p.m. That's a reasonable time to go to sleep. You two should get it on, though. You should. Oh. Why is she angry? What is she angry about? For the smallest of reasons. I would like to know one reason. What was that? Wow, hot-headed sins are just as annoying in this as they were in the other. Alright, you should go to sleep. There we go, go ahead. Now, I intended for the bigger room to be theirs, but you know what? Cecilia, Cecilia's gonna be working hard and bringing in money, so this'll be her room. Yep, this'll be her room. Fair enough. Oh, she's still reading. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, yeah. I'm excited to see where we can take it with these sims. Um, I'm going to see how things shake out a little bit with, um, with the story elements and things like that. 
and I am just really looking forward to to getting to know this family with all of you and whether or not oh she's got to pee whether or not we'll get a chance to spend some time with the Parker's other kids I don't know but the goal here is for Cecilia and uh, Brock just to be as happy as possible I love how they urinate with such forceful velocity it's it's hilarious when they have to pee really badly it's like what is wrong with you what is wrong with you although we all have to be honest we've had to pee that badly before but yeah so let's let's leave it let's leave this episode on that note peeing with forceful velocity thanks so much for watching and uh please remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it see you next time bye